Hello, welcome to today's Daily Dominion, which is base uh, menagerie, looks like. We have um, Basilica and Obelisk for our landmarks. Basilica, uh, you get points if you pay you have extra money left over when you buy something or gain something in your buy phase rather and then obelisk it just makes the patricians and the emporiums worth two points so you can if you want on your four dollar hand buy a patrician and get four points just like that boom from basilica and then obelisk now you'd be passing up on like a militia buy which maybe isn't worth doing but uh, we rolled another board with no village, so or throne or anything. So we're going to play money. Uh, it seems to be the week of it, unfortunately. Uh, the only kind of extra -y things you can do, I guess, relate to obelisk. So you could maybe, I mean, I'm not going to buy a workshop. Workshop's terrible, but you could buy like a camel train. Camel Train could exile Patricians or Emporiums, which even if they're exiled, they'll be worth two points at the end of the game. And then potentially you, you get a chance to bring some of them back out of exile throughout the game. So if you're going to do, try to do something a little extra here, it would probably be Camel Train. Uh, it's, not, it's not especially extra. <laughs> it's, but, uh, and... and I think you want a militia, so there's a little risk here of buying the camel train and then colliding. And I guess the other problem, I mean, the collision is actually not that bad of a deal if you're just, like, picking up patricians, but um, there is some chance here. And the patricians are not great, but, you know, two points and... Because it's not like you have a lot of five or six star cards. They're not going to draw, like, hardly ever. Um, but you can use the camel train to get some extra golds as well, which isn't which isn't too bad. I guess the point, I guess the, the question maybe isn't so much, do you get a camel train, but when? I'll try the opening, why not? I don't have any... We'll see if the AI is, like, super... Okay, so they're not like super keyed into doing the Basilica or Obelisk. I am going to here take the um the four point patrician and then here we get hit, so they probably follow, yeah. We did have the um unfortunate collision, but we do at least have two bucks here, so we get to take the other two patricians and we do get them back into our deck, which is which is fairly nice. The AI just has five there. Um, even with that, my, my militia has missed the shuffle, unfortunately. But that's just the way it goes. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the two golds before the shuffle here, which is pretty nice. Um, they're buying up. This is... Can we have... We're not going to get far... We have collision, which is a bummer. We're not going to get far enough to get either... We get neither Basilisk nor the Emporium points. We're off by one in both cases. I mean, we were never getting the Emporium activation, but we had an okay shot of getting the Basilisk. I don't know why I'm calling it that. <laughs> the Basilica. Um, and we did not. So that's a a bit of a bummer, but I think we go ahead and take the Emporiums here. If we don't get Militia, we do get at least the Basilica now. So we're going to go ahead and take the lead here. Um, they fortunately also missed the Basilica by one there. Uh, and now we're just going to be into the provinces, I suppose. There's not really a story here. I don't think this is unfortunate um, for sure, actually. I maybe should have just kept the goal. We could take a barge. 
duration it. We're gonna end up here with um we hit, we only play the camel train a single time in this game, which is kind of funny. I don't think I'm gonna trigger the shuffle. This is just too much stuff gone. Uh which is also a little bit of a bummer, but I don't really see. So they buy a copper to get the basilica points, which I have a really hard time believing is correct. It's not insane also to maybe take an artisan at some point here for duchy stuff. Um, we're again in this world where the camel train... Okay, well... This is tough because... I think we just try to get the province now. Um, we do get... If there was still Basilica left, we would have gotten a point. I mean, there's something to be said for duration in there, but they're going to have eight at least. Um, but we fortunately do have eight as well. So we're, you know, we're trucking along here. Um, we buy a duchy now, which I think is probably correct. We get to get another province. This is actually not terrible to have these kind of lopsided hands. If they hit eight here, we'll be in a little bit of trouble, but... Um... Okay. Uh, we're gonna be, like, really close to double, actually. <laughs> that's... That's wild that we double provinced on this board. I mean, it makes sense with the barge, but it was still a little wild that we got the draw for it. Um... Given that we got the draw for it, we were pretty much guaranteed to win at that point. So the camel train did very nearly absolutely nothing. I, I guess you shouldn't, we shouldn't discount the gold that it comes with. That's pretty good here. So we shouldn't discount that. But the actual on action play, of course, was used only a single time. So it scored us two points. I mean, on a kingdom like this, you know, exiling gold and scoring two points for a play is actually not a terrible purchase, though there's definitely worlds where the camel train does a lot more for you. Um, okay, that was not a great one, but there were at least a few things going on. I don't know. <laughs> the AI, I think was just not money, you know, just not economically prepared to buy provinces in any way, which is actually really weird for the AI. But the landmark stuff, it was chasing that so hard that uh, the money was never there. Um, because this, this deck, buying a province, is, is actually quite lucky <laughs> that it even got to, I think. Because there's just no no money here. The Emporium's, of course, a little bit of money, but um, and that double province hand was kind of wild. So that was fortunate. Um, but I think we would have been okay anyway if we had double, you know, province duchy or whatever. And province duchy off of a barge duration here would not have been unlikely for me. I just had a lot of cash. Okay, so that was the game. I don't think there are any big lessons here, but um, maybe a couple of nice interactions, but otherwise pretty pretty lackluster board. Hopefully the weekend gives us some nicer stuff, but we'll have to tune in. Well, you'll have to tune in. We'll all have to tune in to our Dominion clients to find out, I guess. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>